Happy holidays, everyone, and welcome to another Fusion 360 monthly challenge. Earn an Autodesk certificate of project completion by joining the Fusion 360 monthly challenge. And joining the monthly challenge is very easy. All you have to do is email us your full name, school, or company name to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. In the challenge, our plunger link handle has a parent component and that parent component is our base heading back to fusion 360 let's right click on our main file and select new component let's name this one as base left click and left click once more typing in base hitting enter in addition because this is our parent component one of the best practice is to have this grounded so let's right click and select ground and by grounding a component we are basically locking all of its degrees of freedom hitting R for rectangle let's sketch on our XZ plane left click let's change the mode of our rectangle to center rectangle Let's drop our center point here at the origin. Left click. Notice 50 is currently highlighted. So let's type 50. I'm going to hit tab, key in 90, hitting enter. Let's hit E to grab our extrude tool. Prompted to select a profile, selecting our rectangular profile. And if possible, Let's make our model symmetrical. Let's change the direction to symmetric. Our desired thickness. Changing the measurement to whole length to be 5 millimeters. And finally, hitting OK. Next, let's create the feature here. I'm going to revolve. Select this face. Right click and select Create Sketch. Let's hit L to grab our line. Let's create a sketch. In this instance, notice that my cursor snaps to the grid. I prefer having this not snapping. So selecting, or better yet, unselecting or unticking snap to grid. Going back to our model. Let's drop our first point here at the intersection. Left click. And if we left click once more and hold our left mouse button, in that instance, we will be creating an arc. So left click and hold. I'm still holding my left mouse button. Release. And left click here once more. Hitting escape. And hitting C to grab our circle. Let's drop our center point here. Left click. The diameter of this circle to be 10. Hitting enter. Hitting D to grab our dimension. Selecting this arc. Left click here to place the dimension. I'm going to key in 10 for the radius. Notice that this line needs to be perfectly vertical. Hitting escape to disable dimension, selecting this line, right click and select horizontal vertical. Next, I want our center point aligned to our origin vertically. Let's select our horizontal vertical constraint, selecting our center point and our origin. Our sketch still not fully defined. Hitting D for dimension, let's select the center point and selecting this bottom edge left click here and key in 15 hitting enter and hitting e for extrude let's close this tips selecting this profile let's grab this arrow giving this thickness and let's key in negative 25 operation join and hit ok Let's create the feature on the right, making sure that base is activated. Let's expand our origin folder. 
going to XY plane, right click and select create sketch, zooming in, hitting L to grab our line, creating a line, holding our left mouse button to create an arc, release, left click on this edge, hitting C for circle, creating a circle, diameter to be 4, hitting enter, hitting D for dimension, selecting this arc, diameter to be 4.5, hitting enter, selecting this center point, and our bottom edge, distance to be 13, sketch fully constrained, hitting E, selecting this profile, changing the direction to symmetric, the whole thickness to be 4, operation join and hit OK. Finally, let's add fillet to all our four corners, hitting F for fillet, selecting this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. Radius to be 5, and finally hitting OK. Let's create the next component to be our plunger. Heading to Assemble, selecting New Component. So this would be an empty component. Naming this as Plunger. The parent to be our base. And we want this to be immediately activated. And this is not, of course, a sheet metal component. Hitting OK. Now if the base is bothering your view, we may head to Plunger. Right click and select Isolate. Next, let's hit C for a circle. Let's create our circle on the YZ plane. Left click at the origin. Diameter of our circle to be 9. Hitting E for extrude. And of course, making this to be symmetric. Let's pull this overall length to be 80. Operation U body and hit OK. Next, let's create the link. Let's turn off the visibility of our plunger. Head to our main file, right click and select new component. Left click and left click once more. Naming this as link. Hitting enter. And activating this, left click. Let's head up to sketch. Select slot and select center to center slot. Let's sketch on our XY plane. Left click here. I will not input any value right now. So let's left click somewhere around 26. And left click once more. Hitting D for dimension. Let's select this horizontal line. Let's key in 30. Let's select this arc. Key in 5 for the radius, hitting C for a circle, create a circle on this endpoint, diameter to be 4, hitting C for a circle, left click, hitting escape, selecting both of these two circles, right click and select equal. Next, let's have this line midpoint to our origin. Selecting this line and our origin, control left click, right click and select midpoint. Hitting E for extrude, selecting this profile. Direction to be symmetric, the thickness to be 2. Operation U body and hit OK. Next, let's create the handle, going to unsaved. Right click and select new component. Let's rename this to handle. Hitting enter. Making sure it's activated. Let's turn off the visibility of link. Hitting L for line. Let's sketch on our XY plane. I'm going to hover over our origin. So notice the tracking. Left click here and pan. Creating an arc, 
left click here and double left click hitting escape if tangent wasn't added to your sketch please add the tangent in between the line and the arc hitting D for dimension selecting this line and this line I'm gonna key in 10 hitting enter selecting this vertical line and this center point left click keying in 44 hitting enter hitting C for circle left click here diameter to be 4 hitting enter hitting L for line let's create a vertical line from here up to here hitting escape hitting D to grab our dimension selecting this vertical line and this vertical line let's drop our dimension here keying in 39 hitting enter selecting this vertical line control left click our origin right click making this symmetrical by selecting midpoint lastly let's create another circle hitting C left click selecting both of our circles right click making them equal selecting horizontal vertical selecting our center point and our origin hitting D for dimension selecting this center point and the center point left click here keying in 25 hitting enter hitting E for extrude selecting this profile and this profile direction to be symmetric the whole length to be 9 operation you buddy and hit OK let's reuse our previous sketch let's expand our handle turning on the visibility of sketch 1 hitting E for extrude our intent is to select this profile one way of selecting this is to hold our left mouse button and a drop down will appear selecting profile changing the direction to symmetric whole length to be 4 operation cut and hit OK turning off the visibility of sketch 1 head to this face hit C for circle creating a circle at the center diameter to be 3 hitting enter hitting E for extrude the depth to be 10 changing this adding negative operation cut and hit OK in addition you may also use H for hole hitting cancel let's turn on the visibility of our sketch 1 hit E for extrude selecting capture position holding our left mouse button and selecting profile changing the direction to two sides selecting all all making sure that objects to cut is simply handle hitting OK heading to home view going to our main assembly activating